12.08 p.m. Thanks for wasting eight months of my life. I should have listened to everybody and what they said about you. They they all told me there's no way that girl's a virgin. There's no way that she ain't been with the man. And I just wouldn't listen to them because I wanted to believe you. And so you're, I guess you're a good liar. If you're going to be proud of that, you think you're a good liar. But I caught on to you. I caught you in some lies. And that's why I wouldn't allow myself to... To, to go all out. That's why at the end of it, I wouldn't even give you oil the last two or three months you're together because of your lies. I thought maybe you could change, you know, and you were starting to change your greediness and your stinginess at the beginning. You were at least starting to change from some of that, but you showed your true colors at the end when you could lie to my face. If you had just been honest with me at some point, everything would have went differently. You know, your timing was terrible. I mean, I just, you knew how much I sat there and cried over wanting Nikki to come stay her to try to help her. And for you to do that during that time just killed me. You killed part of me. I hope you're proud of that. I hope that makes you happy. I don't know how you sleep at night, but I guess you sleep. I don't know how you can split with yourself and, and not care about anything that you've done or not feel like you owe me to come clean to me and just explain things to me. You know, I guess because you don't know you're a sociopath or something, you don't know what love is, you're incapable of love, and it's bad. I guess you're going to, you know, it's just it's pathetic and it's disgusting that you would be over there in the middle of that drama with a married man and that you can't be honest with somebody who loved you and took care of you, it's it really sad. It just shows me why you've not been in a relationship. End of message.